that should be cool. And that's really been my. Hey, Biggie. How are you doing? Yeah. We're watching James Chatham's weekly reading vlog, aren't we? He's packing up. I think he's going back to college slash university. I don't know. I wasn't paying 100% attention. <laughs> he talked about The Gunslinger by Stephen King, so I enjoyed that. Dinner bigs. Ba 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 ba. I like how your hair is being blown by the fan. Now you're on the real star of the show. So here he is. No. <laughs> What's that look for? Oh, I'm sorry, Pookie. I scratch his head while I film. Uh, hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is Monday. I had a bit of a lie-in today. I have been reading They Do It With Mirrors by Agatha Christie, which I started towards the end of my last reading vlog. Almost finished reading this, so I'm sure I will finish it today. It's been alright. Um, I mean mostly most of the little flags that I've put in it have actually been in terms of like the way that language is used So for example Something went missing and she was like, oh, I'm sure one of the queers did it uh, Not her obviously sorry. This is like one of the characters who's like one of these old uh, You know old British Empire army gentlemen, but he's not I, I was like, that's a bit insensitive. And then I realised it's, it's not a like term for gay people. It's because they're at like, uh, I guess what you would call a mental asylum, a lunatic asylum in those days anyway. She, the, the, the term mental case keeps being used. So um, yeah, after this I'm going to read The Amityville Horror by Jay Asher. Biggie and I are just chilling at the moment. I'm just getting some work done. I am working on two of the authors that I ghostwrite for. I'm also finishing off my review of The Elemental Workplace by Jay Usher. Neil Usher. Not Jay Asher. Anson. Jay Anson. Jay Asher did 13 Reasons Why. Jay Anson did Amityville Horror. Neil Usher did the ele elemental workplace, I guess. So yeah, I'm writing kind of like a Spark Notes version of that, really. Then I have just some other articles and stuff to write. I'm pretty busy. I'm fully booked until the end of Wednesday. And uh, yeah, and this weekend I'm going to visit my mum in Tamworth, so there is that as well. And finally, last thing we'll say, hello again, Biggie. Biggie is guarding these books down there. This is for me to film the next bit of my um, bookshelf tour. And when Becca comes in today, we might also do uh, like the mystery bookshelves tag or something. I don't know. Basically, what a spin on what Books and Lala did with her her husband. It's just a car, Biggie. Okay. Okay, we're going to go now. I've got this new T-shirt. Didn't I, Biggie? And I am currently, I'm learning about Asia's deadliest animals while making a stir fry. So, stir fry soon, yay! Look at that, stir fry. And we're learning about monkeys and stuff. Blurry monkeys. What's he doing? Afraid to fight. The Langers have a turbocharged leap, able to high jump up to five Hi. and long jump 13. He's got a dike. They're able to cross rivers in a single. <laughs> Go away. I don't want those. All right, so I made these because we had blueberries left. This is about to go in. This is ultimate barbecue coleslaw. Mm. God knows how this will turn out. So this is going to become seitan. Just got to boil it in, in vegetable stock, which is going to happen in here. I made barbecue coleslaw. Yeah. Biggie, why are you sitting on Frenchman's Creek? I was going to say, come sit here. Here we go. World, whether it's scary or fantastic or humorous, especially humorous sci-fi, humorous horror, I just love reading. So, amen, no Paul. Yeah, can I get a hallelujah? How's everybody doing today? It's a Tuesday. Tuesday, yes. 
Yeah, so for today's Tag Tuesday, I have my music genre tag, which I'm very excited about sharing. But um, I forgot to make a thumbnail for it, so I need to do that. But I'm going to have to do that when I finish working. Because I have lots of work to do today. What am I doing? I'm uh, working on a ghost-written book. I have five 700 word articles to deliver by tomorrow, so those are quite high priority. Lots of articles, basically. If going down my list, it's just... Uh, it's just Liad articles, Jack article, Dan Lil article, Tanya article, George article, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Fombo, who does the future of healthcare. I have to do a social media post for him. In terms of my reading, I finished reading They Do It With Mirrors, and it was alright, I would probably give it like a 3.5 out of 5, it wasn't my favourite Miss Marple, but it was alright. Uh, I mean, I didn't exactly call the ending, but I wasn't really trying. The idea of like they do it with mirrors, it's all to do with misdirection basically and like how a magician does it. And yeah, there was, the, ooh my hair, weird. There was the illusion at one point that one person was somewhere where they weren't, which is kind of what I thought was gonna be the twist or whatever. But anyway, uh, I also finished in bed last night, I finished reading Earth Is Room Enough by Isaac Asimov. And I'm gonna give this a, uh, I'm gonna give this a four out of five, I really enjoyed this. The last story in it, is called uh, Dreaming is a Private Thing and the idea behind it is that these dreamies are for sale and there are people whose job it is to have dreams basically that can be uploaded to other people but I really like this album of psychedelic music if you like um, psychedelia basically check out an album called Dreamies by Bill Holt and basically it's kind of inspired by some of the psychedelic stuff the Beatles are doing it's one of the first known examples of um, like remixing and mixing in uh, in modern music because and sampling that's what I was going for because it uses all tape and like he spent three years making this thing cutting bits of tape together and recording the like you know he'd record an entire night of the rainfall outside his window for an eight second clip and go back through and find the perfect clip so it's really fascinating and definitely worth reading but dreamies that that album takes its title from this asimov short story and i didn't know it was in here so that was a nice surprise for me but honestly all of these stories were good and um yeah, it's just a shame. I, I in the past I let the uh, small print put me off, but it was very much enjoyable. And uh, yeah, I'm back on an Asimov hype now. I think I think I want to read some more of his stuff. I've only read like four books. Anyway, and now I am reading the Amityville Horror by Jay Anson. So I'm about 80 pages in, and uh, this is a buddy read with a bunch of people as well. I will link below actually to my survey for people who want to take part in the buddy reads. This is the first of 10 we're going to do a book a week and uh, basically you can go in to a survey monkey link and fill in your details if you want to take part in any of the others. But obviously by the time you're watching this it's a bit too late for the Amityville Horror. In fact by the time you're watching this we're probably all reading In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. Looking forward to that one. Anyway, back to work. Peace. Why do you have a moustache? Oh no. <laughs> oh biggie. Come. Is that better? He says, let me go. Yes. He's a Wookiee. He is a bit of a Wookiee. I can't get him I can't get him to fit in the frame. Jesus. The gazpacho soup is ready, by which I mean it is fully chilled. This is the one I'm going to give to Becca because it's a bit tidier than this one. Maybe if I swap the bowls around. I'm going to swap the bowls around. There we go. And we're watching 72 Dangerous Animals. Alright, my attempt at homemade seitan. It's, it's wheat gluten, but it's like a meat substitute style thingy. I like it, but Becca does not. Well, she likes normal Satan, just not my Satan. Oh, Biggie's come in. Biggie knew I was about to start filming. Hi, Biggie. How are you? It just looks like a, like a black lump. Do you know, sometimes, sometimes I say hello to black bin bags because I think that they're the cat. So if we've got one in the bathroom that we're using, sometimes I look at it and I think it's the cat. That is terrible. 
Um, today I've been kept quite busy. I'm actually going to have to do some work this evening as well because I have a lot of client work on at the moment, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've also got like a long weekend off this weekend because I'm going to Tamworth and I will of course take you guys with me there. Um, so I'm probably going to do some more work this evening. I'm currently doing five articles. A few of them are food based and I think I'm going to say to the client like, can I not write about food? Biggie, he's got a hairball. Oh, Biggie boy. He's literally just vomited on the floor. Lovely. But, um, yeah. Also, I've been reading the Amityville Horror. I'm on page 240 of about 300 now, so I've almost finished it. It's pretty good, I'm enjoying it. I mean, it's not written the best. I said to the people of the Buddy Read, it's written like hack journalism. But that's kind of what you want from a book like this, you know? The other news is that Viulio has released its top 10 UK literature blogs, and I rank third in it for the third t time as well, third year in a row I've been in this list. So um, I'll include the link below, actually. Interestingly, number one, The Book Smugglers. I recognise this guy! So yeah, number two is Savage Reads. So it's nice that I'm in number three as my big face, and... Um, so it's it's not I've had my book for over five uh, my blog for over five years now it's kind of crazy but yeah that's pretty cool and then coming down here uh, a little blog of books Claire Rowland so I was with her on the shadow panel for the Young Writer of the Year award and then down here number nine the poetry shed created by poet Abigail Morley she was one of the people who went to Latvia on the press trip with me there. This is kind of cool. I kind of know a lot of these people. Anyway, um, yeah, after the Amityville Horror, I'm going to read The Mirror Crack from Side to Side by Agatha Christie, I think. I'd better go and see what mess the cat has made, because the mess he's made here does not look good. The only other thing to mention is that I've got a tofu press as well. All right, Biggie, are you all right? Oh, yeah, look, you got a bit on your, your mouth. We're going to need to clean your mouth, aren't we? Don't rub your face on Becca's bag. She's not going to be happy about that when you got bloody... Oi. Okay, so for dinner I'm making these little mini pizza tarts. So we have the toppings in place. Now we just have to put them in the oven. Hey Becca, what are we watching? Biggie. We're watching To All The Boys I Loved Before, which is based on a novel by Jenny Hahn. That's all I know about it, and uh, I'm about to go and d serve up some food. Yeah, good. I think it came out pretty good. Here is mine, and I have a spare one as well. Mm. Biggie, what are you doing? That's not for you. What do you do? Oh. Excuse me. Biggie. 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 Who are you emailing? Have you got a pen pal? And why do you keep vomiting? Hey. Uh, fluff, 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 fluff. No. I, I mean... Hey, Biggie. Becky, you enjoying this film? Yeah. You're getting very involved, aren't you? Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah, do you ship them? Yeah. Yeah, she ships them. What do you reckon, Biggie? I, meanwhile, I'm about to put this in. Oh my God, how good does that look? It is brownie. God, you two are as bad as each other, aren't you? We are watching the Amityville Horror now, the original Amityville Horror, because I've pretty much finished the book. Well, I have finished the book, then there's like an afterword, which I'll probably finish while we're watching it. All right, and the brownie is coming along. Well, I think it's cooked. So now we just need to let it cool. It's very springy. It is a thing of beauty. How is it? Yeah? Oh, you're totally out of focus, but yeah. Mm, very tasty. Good. Much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, it's. Don't mind me just watching PewDiePie playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, 
I thought I'd filmed an update yesterday and I can't find the footage. I feel like I might have lost a little bit of footage, but oh well. What did I want to tell you? I, well, I want to tell you I finished, finished reading the Amityville Horror. It was okay. I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5. The style it was written in was very reminiscent of kind of like hack journalism and it reads more like a non-fiction book even though it's obviously not, although it does pretend that it is. Uh, it's fine and we watched the movie of it yesterday. We also watched To All The Boys I've Loved Before. Actually, it was quite a cute movie. I'm still not going to read the book though. And um, yeah, it was, that. that's that I guess. I've now started reading In A Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. Now, this is a buddy read with Brian's bookshelves. He's reading it for Thrillerathon, I think. And I just said, let me know when you start reading it and I'll pick it up with you. So I have done. I'm a bit bored. I'm about 50 pages in and there's been like, there's been no, oh, 64 pages in and there's been no hook yet. Like, it says here, this year's hottest crime novel. And so far it's just been a hen party for 65 pages. I don't care. When is something gonna happen? Isn't it supposed to be a thriller? It's, it's really dull. It's really very dull so far, but I'm hoping maybe it'll pick up. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not expecting great things because I only gave, I read uh, The Woman in Cabin 10, I gave that a 3.5 out of 5. There were some problems with it, but also I read it in like two days. So I guess it kind of achieved what it was supposed to do. This one is on par for a 3, maybe a 2.5 at the moment. It's just, it's not very good. But we'll see. And then uh, I'm off to my mum's house tomorrow, so I'm going to do lots of travelling, so I should have plenty of opportunity to read. Which is good, because I want to um, finish those Penguin Mini Modern soon as well. Also, my ice cream maker arrived today, so I might have a chance to give that a go before I go home. And I think that's about it. I've also, I'm properly stacked with work at the moment, so I'll probably be doing some work into the evening and over the weekend, which uh, I was doing some work yesterday as well, but it's fine. It's money, I guess. So, um, yeah. Okay, this is the pie pre-baking. It did tell me to put this, put this much vegan butter on, so hopefully it's fine. And then down here, these things are our fries to go with it. I'm quite proud of myself, I think it turned out well. We go a mushroom and Guinness pie with uh, like rosemary and mustard sweet potato fries. Let's cut into this bad boy. an ice cream maker. Vegan ice cream. Please Vegan ice cream biggie. I cannot wait. Here it comes. Vegan ice cream in Secret Life of Pets. <laughs> Cream maker didn't work out too well, so we turned it into a uh, milkshake with chocolate ice cream in it. Hey Biggie! Hey Biggie Cat, I'm leaving you. Only for two days though. No, I'll see you soon, okay? Look, there's my case. You know what this means. Oh, scratch the butt, 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 butt. I, watched a bottle. I smell clean. I've just been in the shower. Oh yes, yes, oh all of the fuss. One day when you sit there I am actually going to green screen you in, you know. I'm going to put you like this, so all you can see is the, you and the green screen. That's it Biggie, I'm going to put you like this, and then we're going to make you, what would you like to be looking at? Sorry that my hair looks a bit crazy, I've just been in the shower. Um, yeah, I'm off to Tamworth to go and see my mum. So I am going to go, my hair really does look crazy. I just brushed it and it looked all right. And now this has happened. Yeah, so I am off to visit my mum in Tamworth where I grew up. So I'll be saying goodbye to this little one for a few days, but uh, hopefully get lots of reading done and maybe bring you back something nice, eh Biggie? Yeah?
All right, I gotta go because Becca's about to pick me up in any any second. That's why the curtains closed because we don't want people to see into the computer screen array. All right. Vegan feast. That moon. Oh god, I don't do that before it plays with football. Yeah, no, like when sober. <laughs> this is the thing though, this is why I want to play ball because I get better at it when I'm drunk. Because I forget that I have no hand eye coordination. Like a foot bullshit. Crack. <laughs> You miss me? Yeah. Hey, you're on candid camera. Mm. We're having hoisin pancakes. Mm, yeah, yeah. Quite a quick one to make as well. I'm watching some space film. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna be the one to fix it. So I'm making my own chilli sauce here, it looks very good I must say, it's also got onion, a bit of garlic, it's got some habanero, some regular just red chillies, salt and pepper, yeah, I'm excited. I thought I filmed this bit but apparently I didn't and it's uh, late at night so we've got to be quiet, Becca's sleeping, but uh, yeah. This is the end of my reading vlog for this week. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.